Well, I became a journalist because I believed that people would care if they were given something to care about, and I thought that was the, you know, the mission of journalism, beyond being a business, beyond simply informing people, but actually moving people. Awareness is essential to change, and that of course, journalism is a business and it has to be a successful business, but it also has a public service element to it. And every, every story doesn't have to sell something. There's also a time to give. And I think in creating awareness about, about an issue that needs change is, uh, you know, is part of the you know, higher mission of journalism. What would you say to inspire people, whether it's a journalism student or uh, an attorney or a designer or do you have any words of advice for people who really um, want to do something with their life to help others but just really aren't sure what to do? Or a photography student, for example. Um, what would you say to them if they said, how can I help? What can I do to change the world? Well, there are many ways that, you know, you can mobilize help. Uh, all the professions that you mentioned, you know, it doesn't have to be medical or nutritional. It could be law. Um, it could be journalism. And I think you have to understand where what you do can become effective and then identify an issue that means something to you, that moves you, and try and apply your talent to that issue. You know, find the channels, make the connections. Can you think of any small things that people could do um, to work on this problem of tuberculosis? Well, there, there's action that people can take around any given issue. Um, it can be as simple as making a donation. Um, you can stage a fundraiser. You can write letters to people who make decisions and have influence over various issues. But I think all of those things are, you know, someone has to find inside themselves. What I try and do is create an opening in someone's consciousness for these issues, the various issues that I photograph. And I want them to, not to close off to it, an issue, but to open themselves up to it and keep it alive inside themselves. To have conversations, to you know, create a kind of constituency around an issue. Um, and out of that, if the issue stays alive inside a you know given population, then uh, I think change isn't only possible; it's inevitable.